Nino Ervias bought his home with money he earned as a taxi driver. 25 years ago, the Peruvian immigrant scraped together $118,000 for a down payment on this, a taxi medallion. I work around six years with no vacation or holidays to save for, for my down payment. Required to own a yellow cab in New York City, the value of a medallion had risen to more than a million dollars in 2014. Since then, however, ride-hailing apps like Uber and Lyft have flooded city streets with four times as many cars for hire as taxis, cars not subject to the same restrictions as yellow cabs. 99.9 percent .9 of drivers here are immigrants. So this is, it is a way for us to achieve the American dream which right now, as it is, has been denied to us. He's not alone. Other drivers and medallion owners held this rally to call attention to their plight. We were taking before like a $150 a night shift, 12 hours, but now we are taking only $90. I'm about to bankrupt because of uh, all these rider hailing companies. They know. The yellow cab industry is on the verge of collapse, according to medallion owners. But they're not the only ones who are struggling. Uber and Lyft may be billion dollar companies, but their drivers say their income is shrinking as well. I bankrupt because of you. This video of an Uber driver confronting Uber CEO Travis Kalanick about his falling income went viral. You know what? What? Some people don't like to take responsibility for I their take shit. Responsibility. They blame everything but in their life on somebody else. why you email for town card? Good luck. Kalanick later apologized for treating the worker disrespectfully, but not for his company's policies, which he said are necessary to stay competitive. There is a vicious race to the bottom, and there is a serious crisis, you know, that the drivers and the industry as a whole is facing. But even Uber drivers themselves are facing that crisis. It's only these companies, Uber and Lyft, you know, it's the corporate CEOs that are doing well. Everybody else is, is struggling. The competition that we face right now is totally unfair. He believes all drivers should play by the same rules on the road. Otherwise, New York's iconic yellow taxis could be driven out of business. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.